there and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome as well. Um, today I am going to be organizing my refrigerator. Um, well, my refrigerator and my like spoon drawer, spatula drawer, whatever you want to call it, um, utensil drawer, um, not just basic silverware though. Um, yes, I am talking funny. I do have retainers in. Um, I went to the ortho this past Tuesday, I think it was. Um, and the retainers that I had originally when I first got my braces off a few years ago, um, they were like the clear plastic ones. They look like Invisalign. Um, they were great <laughs> and you couldn't see them, but I grind my teeth really bad at night. Um, and I kept breaking them and they're very expensive to replace. So after replacing them three times in one year, I told the ortho that I needed something different. Um, so he had given me these, um, which are just the old fashioned basic wire retainers um, that have a bite plate in them, which is why I lisp. Um, and so it doesn't let me shut my teeth all the way. So that way, if I do grind them, they don't grind together. Um, so hopefully it'll protect my teeth a little bit, but they were not adjusted correctly when I first got them. So at my three month retainer check, my top teeth had shifted, um, which is not good. <laughs> I don't want to wear retainers all the time, but for the next three weeks I have to wear them because I don't want to have to get braces again or pay for more retainers. Um, so he just adjusted these for now. We're going to see if they work, if they put my teeth back instead of having them shift. Um, and then I'll only have to go to wearing them at night again once we get them adjusted correctly. Um, but for right now I guess I have to live with it because I'm cheap and I'm not gonna spend more money to get the clear retainers just to wear during the day for a few weeks. Um, so anyway, that's that story. Um, I have ordered some bins for my refrigerator. Um, they have not come in yet. Um, I did get some mats and I will link those down below. Um, I, I just wanna get it cleaned. I'm tired of waiting to do it. Um, I'm tired of waiting for the bins. <laughs> I just wanna get everything cleaned. I'll get the mats in. If for some reason they come in <laughs> today, um, I'll go ahead and have those in the video. If not, I'll show you guys those in a later video. No big deal. Um, at least that way my fridge will be cleaned out and ready to go. So when the bins do come in, I can just reorganize stuff. Um, as far as my utensil drawer or spoon, spatula drawer, whatever you wanna call it, I am tired of having all the spatulas on the counter. Um, we used to have like a container, like a, um, I don't even know what to call it. My mind's going blank, like a pot um, that they all would were going. And I was tired of having it on the, ta or on the counter, um, taking up space. So I just want to reorganize my drawer so that way I can fit everything in there. We have way, so, way too much stuff. Um, there's no need for it. <laughs> I just want to organize, declutter a little bit, um, get everything to fit in that drawer so I don't have to have it in the um, thing on the pot on my counter. Um, and then that way it'll save some space on there too and make it look a little cleaner. So let's go ahead and get started.
realized how much was actually in our fridge. I have gone through and went through the expiration dates and all of that kind of stuff, thrown out what didn't need to be in there. So now let's go ahead and lay down the liners and get everything organized and back in.
what my face looks like when I realized I forgot to put the liners down and thought I was done until I turned around and saw them sitting on the island in the package still. So now let's go ahead and take everything back out of the fridge again, put the liners down, and put everything back in. But hey, at least it's organized and clean already, right?
finished product for the fridge. This is with the liners in. They worked out great. I was able to cut them down to size to use on the top shelves and the bottom shelf. You can kind of see here where I just over layered them and they worked out perfect. I'm really excited if something spills just to be able to clean the liner instead of actually having to clean the glass and everything. So now that this is all done officially, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started on the utensil drawer. So I have everything organized now. I just used some Rubbermaid containers from Walmart that are drawer organizers and they worked out perfect. So I just separated everything off into spatulas, spoons, baking, um, all of that and got everything organized and they fit perfect. And now I don't have to worry about the canister sitting on the countertop. Everything fits in the drawer. Everything that's in the drawer, hopefully we will use. <laughs> and now we are going to work on yet another project for organization. These are things that I bought off of Etsy and I will link that down below. But they are for like Ziploc baggies, um, the different sizes. I currently have Ziploc baggies in a drawer and they are just in baskets. They are not labeled, they're not fancy. Um, they, it, it works just fine, it, it just wasn't perfect and I can't get all four sizes in one side of the drawer. Um, I have to have the Galen Ziploc baggies clear in the back and I just don't care for it. I saw these, they were fairly inexpensive. I think I paid, uh, it was less than $40 for the whole set. They did have a discount code at that time that I purchased them. You do have to glue them as you can see here in the picture, but it, it was very easy. Um, the instructions that it came with were very easy. You just set everything out. You put a little bit of wood glue on all the tabs and then you'll see me put them together um, I'm going to rubber band them with rubber bands that they came with. Um, I let them dry for a couple hours and they were perfect. Extremely easy. They fit together well. Everything worked out great. I will go ahead and, like I said, I'll link that down below for you as well if you would like to try them out.
tip for the wood glue, I always take off the cap when I'm done with it and run super hot water through it, um, through both sides of it, through the bottom and the top. This just helps from the wood glue drying and then not being able to either get the cap open next time I go to use it or with it being dried out, then you have to try to pull the dried piece out um, to get any to come out. So that's just a little tip for you that I like to do that has always really helped and I've had really good luck with. And here is the before shot of the Ziploc baggie drawer, whatever you want to call it. You can see that the gallon Ziploc baggies are in the back. I have to cut the box down because the drawer is so shallow that it doesn't fit correctly otherwise and the baskets are not labeled. So my seven-year-old is constantly asking me what baggy, what size is in this basket. Um, here is the after shot and you can see it is perfect. They fit perfect, it turned out amazing. It has worked so well. Um, go ahead and let me know in the comments below what you think.